Hello, it is Crystal here, and I am doing something a little bit different. I normally would make an Instagram reel on my phone camera, except my phone is being fixed right now, so I thought maybe I will take y'all along on a vlog via using my regular camera. Um, so this weekend I have an event, uh, which is for the San Francisco Chinatowns Lions Club and their Miss Teen Chinatown Scholarship and Charity Gala. Um, and so earlier today we had our final rehearsal with the teens. We did final run through, just any last minute tidbits and tips and tricks that I can provide for them, any advice I can give to them. Um, try to do our best to make sure that things are running properly. Tonight I'm just trying to figure out what I'm gonna wear. I am going to be wearing a Chi Pao in the beginning of the night uh, as I'm getting a greeting, as I'm greeting the guests and uh, the first part of the show and then afterwards I'm gonna change into an evening dress so I'm trying to figure that out. Rain dress was my um, first choice, my original choice because um, I had to do a really quick change. I only have like I don't know, three minutes to change. Uh, yeah. I guess, I don't know, I don't think it's that flattering on me anymore. Um, I think I looked better in it when I was younger but now I don't really like it too much. It's um, brand new. I just got it. It was on sale on Windsor. Um, and I just got it off online. And so I didn't realize it's a cow, cowl neck line. So it's not very flattering on me as someone that I, I don't I don't really have much. I don't know. I think I think we're just gonna go with the green. Um I took a shower. And it's kinda late now. It is like 12:38. Um, but I am working on the cue cards. <sighs> so I transfer our Word document over onto um, Microsoft Publisher so that I can create cards. And I also do logos on them, so that's really, really nice. Looks good on stage. Um, and I'm just gonna figure out to hole punch it, pin it together, do a little practice tonight before I go to sleep. Uh, I wanted to go to bed by one o'clock, but I don't think that's possible because I still have to pack. So let's just try to do our best here. Getting the paper like I'm scared of the paper like uh, bending, and I don't want to do that. Oh my god, I got it. There you go. Okay. I'm going to pack my makeup kit because we're going to get there. I'm going to get there around 12.30, 12. 30, 12. Um, but show doesn't start until 6. Um, so I have to do makeup in the middle of the day. So I'm going to pack my makeup box. It's a train case. It is beautiful. It connects to, I'll show you guys later, like another part of this train case. It's amazing. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pack up my makeup and hair stuff. And then we can take care of the other miscellaneous stuff. So this is what I have so far in my makeup box. Um, it's not as full as it normally would be. I mean, I usually take this with like a lot of stuff prepared, but I'm just I'm just gonna do very, very specific. Like I know what look I'm gonna do and this is all that I really, really need. So I only need one hairstyle too, so it's like pretty simple. So we're good. I'm gonna wear these ones with my cheap how. They are a bit cold, so I think it kind of matches. This one's like my favorite one to wear. Uh, my aunt gifted to me as a gift and then <laughs> This year she gave me another one because she's like, you're always wearing that one. So, but this one is a little short. This one's a little, um, it's shorter. So it's not as sparkly. It's like this, like the best one to wear because it's, it's like big, but not like super, super like all over in your face. So that's why I like to wear this one a lot. This is all the stuff that I'm bringing tomorrow. Um, my makeup cabinet and this is what i love about it. so this actually like comes apart um but what's amazing about it is it opens up and this is like my toolkit now um <laughs> i have like emergency tools 
and my micro stitching it's just stuff that i might need during the pageant time um toolbox and then yeah just 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 stuff i don't know i'm a prepared person and and then i'm bringing a backdrop and the stand because i have to change backstage um and i don't know i just in case i needed to to have a cover up i guess and this is my crown box in here and then i have um two pairs of heels because for some reason this heel is probably going to die on me soon and i'm just worried that it might die on me tomorrow so i brought another pair just in case and then just regular stuff that i need for practice with the girls speakers my personal stuff and of course our cue cards and then i'll just bring my um my clothes yep and that's it good morning it is sunday uh, right now it is 12 o'clock and we have a call time um at one i want to get some starbucks first because I went to bed at like 4 o'clock last night um, just because I was like rehearsing the script and I had to make my nails for the drive. So, I'm a little tired, but let's hopefully we can get through the day. Got my Starbucks. I'm then heading out to Berlin Game. It is 12.38. I am late. We are in the oh, ballroom for the teens and it's a bit of a funny story like we've come full circle because this was the first room where I did my pageant for the Miss Sing Tao in 2015. Yeah and James was there as well and it's just so crazy. They are still prepping up the stage a little bit. I'm gonna mark the um, spots on the floor so the girls know where to go and stuff. Um, so hopefully in about like 15-20 minutes I can get them on stage and we can like start rehearsing. Yeah, we are on a time crunch. So I'm putting tape on the stage so that the teens will know their placements on stage. I also got down and started to gaff tape um, the stage because these are risers and they weren't flushed with each other. We were very short-handed and actually behind schedule by a whole hour so I just wanted to get things ready and going. Um, I went into the dressing room and one of the teens actually said to me that I looked stressed which was very surprising because I'm normally never stressed during events. I have a very easygoing mindset and I always enjoy events. Um, however, since I was tasked with so many responsibilities, I was a little stressed. Like I wanted to make sure the girls got time to rehearse and that they were ready. I was trying my best to help the production finish setting up. And also I was trying to make sure that I would do a good job and seeing the event. So yeah, like I was a bit overwhelmed, uh, but luckily the girls didn't need too much stage rehearsal and everything was set and ready to go. I got myself ready and I'm in my crown and sash so that I can go and greet people and do my normal queenly duties such as taking a bunch of photos. And then the event started and Steven and I welcomed everyone and got dinner started. And while people were having dinner, I wanted to take off my crown um, because I didn't want to be wearing the crown for three hours. That would definitely hurt my head a lot. And it is so great to be emceeing with Steven. I think that he is born to be an announcer or like an MC. He has such an amazing voice and I was able to rely on him because he is so good at it. It was just very great working with him. He is absolutely amazing. And during the VOG parts, I would sit down because my feet were starting to hurt. And it's just more comfortable that way because no one can see me and I just get to speak into the mic. And finally, we're able to announce the new 2022 Miss Teen Chinatown. Alicia Tan! I am definitely not a professional. I am just so casual. And of course, like, I am first and foremost their pageant coach. And you can see me just wonderful. I don't know what I was doing. Her crown fell off and my first instinct was like, oh, gotta go and fix her crown. So all 
of our winners. And also congratulations to all the participants for doing such an amazing job tonight as well. Give it up for these wonderful, wonderful ladies. I am back home and we got Taco Bell because I didn't eat anything as always when I do events. Congratulations to all of the winners and of course good job to all the participants as well. Um, I think I had a really fun time being the host with Steven as always. He does such an amazing job. But yeah, I think everything went well. I did break a nail <laughs> and my heels broke unfortunately i knew i knew it was gonna break like i had a sense last night when i was packing i was like i think my heels are gonna gonna break so sad about that but everything else went really well i hope i did a good job it's only my second time emceeing it didn't feel too right i'm never really the person on stage i like being the person backstage so it definitely feels a little weird and i'm gonna have my dinner check on work and then go to sleep and then we'll see maybe next year they might invite me again um, to coach for the Miss Teen Challenge now which of course I'll be happy to do but yeah so thank you for coming along my weekend of this event and I'll see you guys another time